Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hood, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, I want to welcome back to Baseball Hood, hope you like this video, and uh, smash that subscribe button, so we're back here at the Baseball Hood, waiting for this uh, World Series to be over, so record this video, I'm watching the World Series, the Yankees are losing right now, and uh, I'm not one of these Mets fans, I want everybody to get along with the Yankees, oh, bullshit. Let's see the Yankees suffer and their fans to suffer too. Even relatives. Sorry. Not sorry. They, they didn't like that the same way. They, you know. The mess were in their playoff run. They, they was getting text messages from family members trying to jinx things. Just being honest. But here we go. The one thing that's that's going on with the Yankees is they have this big dark black cloud over them. That's Juan Soto. And they don't know. There's uncertainty about him. And they're very nervous going into the World Series thinking that this might be the last games that he'll be playing with them. Because really, their only concern is really with one team. The team on the cap that I'm wearing right now. Uh, they seem to be very concerned uh, that the Mets are going to take him. Going to sign him in about another month and a half. Give him probably the second largest contract in baseball history. I would suggest, and they may know this already, I don't need to tell them this, that you try to get a deferred uh, contract with him. Very similar to what Otani got from the, the Dodgers, a, a deferred contract. That way you can sign him to a $600 million contract and they don't have to pay him $20 million next year. Boy, <laughs> baseball would not be happy if they did that. No problem, the Dodgers do that, the Mets did that. They would, they would do everything they can to really uh, punish the Mets. But anyway... That's what I would do. But the Yankees are not happy. Uh, they're very nervous. And uh, there was this big article on Friday from uh, New York Post uh, talking about this. Now, the executives behind the scenes with the Yankees are getting very nervous. This is the headline. Yankees working to avoid a Mets Juan Soto buzzkill from happening. Then I mean, they're really nervous. I mean, this is not, it's not a joke, you know. There's only one team that that, that has the, uh, the the resources to take him, and that's the Mets. And uh, they're going to have a lot of money coming off their payroll, and they're going to be moving payroll out of here. I would uh, mention a correction on a video that I did on, on Friday. I was posted on Saturday talking about Jeff McNeil. Jeff McNeil, I thought, had three years left in his contract. He has two years left in his contract and about $30 million. So the Mets could, could try to get some, some, you know, get rid of some of that money. Um... And, and maybe get some young pitching. But anyway, the article goes, the Mets aren't even officially in the one Soto sweepstakes yet, and the crosstown competition is already heating up. At least before the expected derbies to begin, a Yankees executive fired the first salvo. Quote, going from the Yankees to the Mets, that's a buzzkill. One Yankees executive opined to the post, the Yankees with two, no surprise in making Juan Soto the top priority this winter. Logically envisioned, the deep-pocketed, on-the-rise Mets is their biggest threat in the Derby for the top free agent this winter. Now, the Mets are doing what the, what the Dodgers did last year. And what the Dodgers did last year is they did not spend any money uh, uh, two years ago in, in, uh, in the offseason. And, and the Yankees, as I watch Juan Soto at a home run right now, tied the game up. But, uh, I mean, really, uh, so they Mets didn't spend any money last year. I think a lot was in preparation for this particular player. And he's 25 years old. Oh, anyway, as he's rounding the bases. A stupid horse face can't do what he's been doing. The Yankees presumably only enhanced their chance to keep Soto by reaching the World Series for the first time in 15 years. A big boost from Soto himself, of course, but they can see the threat from eight miles to the south and east. The, the quote, buzzkill quote comment provides a hint about the case the Yankees will make. It's fair that the Yankees hold an edge in history. Overall fan interest, I don't know about that. And yes, buzz, I don't know about that either. It also shows where they see the competition coming from. It makes sense the Mets could provide a, the most serious competition thanks to the largesse of owner Steve Cohen, giving the Mets the ability to, to write Soto something close to a blank check. Soto first name winning as something to consider while talking about his impending free agency. And Cohen's Mets also show they are on the come from breaching the NLCS. I would also, again, bring this up again. 
the Mets have been in the postseason two of the last three years. So they're building. This is a building situation. Um, and this core the Mets have have shown now they can win. So that's that's a very important thing too. Uh, they were able to add sort of these complementary pieces to help this group uh, be in a good situation. So that's why uh, bringing in Juan Soto would be very be beneficial just as a player acquisition more than just anything else. Uh, but uh, so also we mentioned that Steve Cohen has owned the team four years and two of the four years the Mets have been in postseason. So that is another aspect. Plus this was a, an enormous uh, accomplishment this team, this Mets team did this year. Soto on Thursday called this one of the most fun seasons he's had. And while one friend confirmed he loves it as a Yankee, the friend also suggested there were some early speed bumps and saying is certainly no certainty, which shouldn't surprise anyone who, who chronicles free agency. The Yankees executive named the Mets and the Blue Jays among the perceived threats in the competition and started making the club's case, pointing out the advantages of having the short porch of Yankee Stadium, and especially an all-time great and Aaron Judge. I mean... As long as he doesn't like you know, run into the wall and Dodger Stadium again, uh, be batting behind him. No other team besides a potentially reconfigured Dodgers lineup could offer anything close to that sort of lineup protection. And the Mets' own top slugger, Pinalazzo, is himself a free agent. Cohen didn't play for Judge as a free agent two years ago. In that case, he probably understood it would be impossible to lure an all-time great Yankee. It's also homegrown. So those Yankee ties are nearly as strong, obviously. And he's expected to seriously play the field with a record deal possible. Now he was going to get get a deal from the Nationals for over four hundred million. He turned it down, so uh, he wants to make as much money as he could possibly get. Rival executives also suggest they view the Yankees and Mets as favorites in that order, but many big market teams, maybe some smaller, expected to play for Soto, possibly including the World Series for Dodgers. I don't think so. Uh, the Gi the Dodgers need a shortstop for next year. The Giants and Blue Jays are two teams that tried to trade for Soto before the Yankees completed a blockbuster 5 for 2 deal that brought him and Trent Grissom from San Diego. Some suspect East Coast teams hold an advantage since Soto had an uneasy start in San Diego. But where is that the late Padres owner Peter Siegler was making serious progress on a Soto deal before he took ill, ending talks? Any, anyway, now many see this as a New York, New York battle royale. In a sense, it, it's already begun. This is going to be a New York, New York thing anyway, you know. Uh, we've been talking about Soto for the last two, three years. Now, I've been doing lots of videos on him uh, going back, you know, when he was with the uh, the Nationals. So, this is a player that, that, that the Mets have an eye on. They've had an eye on him for a long time. Uh, now, we, we will see, obviously, what transpires in this World Series. If the Yankees don't win this World Series, they will be hell-bent on re-signing Soto. Because they don't want to lose the World Series and lose Soto. They could probably stomach it a little bit if they lose, they win this World Series and lose Soto. But that's a tough pill to swallow. You know, you win the World Series and lose one of your best players to the cross-town uh, Mets. America's team that plays in C City Field in Queens. So I want to thank you for coming by. Of course, this is the best Mets fans podcast on the internet, the best Mets fans YouTube channel on the internet. There's nothing better than this channel. I do everything here. and I'm well knowledgeable. I'm fun. We have a lot of fun here. We laugh at a lot of stuff. And even if I think it's funny, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> but I hope that you enjoy it. And thank you for coming by. Please subscribe to Baseball Hut and I'll see you later.